Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini. And on today's video, we're going to be doing something or going over something I wanted to do for a long time now, since this news kind of broke. I think this article came out at the very end of April, early May. Someone sent it to me. I haven't had time to look it over because I've been on call and all that stuff, but it's such a fascinating story and it happens more than you would think. So I wanted to kind of get to the bottom of it and talk about a few things about it. So let's get into it. All right, so first and foremost, I'm going to pull up the news story where they talk about this because I have no idea what happened or anything about it. So I just want to find out quickly what we're dealing with. A local physician could appear in court next week accused of assaulting another doctor. Police say earlier this week at St. Elizabeth's in Boardman, Dr. Barton and another physician started arguing over a patient's care. Witnesses told police Dr. Barton shoved the other doctor and had to be separated. Mercy Health is aware of the incident and says no patients were ever threatened. So I have a lot of problems with this. The fact that they had, well, before we get into that, let's figure out where this actually took place and I want to know a little more about these docs. All right, so they said in St. Elizabeth's Hospital in Boardman. Boardman Hospital, Mercy Health. Beautiful hospital, might I add. I wanna find the doctor's name. Dr. Daniel Barton, MD, Youngstown, Ohio. He's a nephrologist. Maybe we can find his image. There he is. Doctor charged with assault. Here we go. I kind of need to get a little more to this story, so let's find this article here. Police arrested a doctor after a fight with another physician. Two doctors have been involved in a fight over a patient's care. I mean, how can two professionals like actually get in a fight over a patient's care? A heart doctor or a cardiologist told police it started after he sent a text message to Dr. Daniel Barton asking why he stopped giving a patient medication that he prescribed to the patient. He said Barton is a kidney doctor. Okay, so we have a cardiologist versus a nephrologist or kidney doctor. Heart doctor versus kidney doctor. Dun -dun. So basically what I'm getting at is the cardiologist prescribed a certain medication and the nephrologist decided for whatever reason that wasn't the appropriate medication for that patient and just went ahead and stopped it without even talking to the cardiologist about it, which is a no-no in our industry. You don't just stop someone else's medications that they put on for your patient because you don't know what was going on in that consultant's mind. Clearly there was a reason they started them on that medication. If you have a problem with it, you approach that physician, talk to him, have a private conversation, talk about the benefits and risks of that medication, and then you decide if it's good for the patient or not. The last thing you do is actually have an altercation in front of people and fight with them. I can't believe I have to say this out loud or do a video on it, but this is crazy. So after he sent the text message, he said later he followed up with Barton, who said he accused of sneaking behind his back to continue the medication. Oh, maybe they said they shouldn't have this medication and then he started on it anyways. He added that Barton told him that he should try answering his phone and try calling him about the patient that he effed up. Really professional here, guys. He also told police that after asking Barton not to raise his voice, Barton shoved him, causing him to almost fall over. <laughs> I mean, oh, I wish I could say this, you know, isn't the first time I've heard of something like this happening, but <sighs> this, this happens more than you would think. I haven't seen it with my own eyes, but I've heard stories at many different hospitals describing almost an identical incident. So the doctor told the police he believes that Barton would have punched him if the other employees didn't intervene. I mean, this is crazy. All right, so now that we got the gist of what's happening and how crazy this is, I just wanna go ahead and talk about it. So this guy was obviously arrested and taken to jail for misdemeanor assault. He will probably be charged. He will probably have some sort of suspension on his license, but that'll be left up to the Ohio Medical Board. But I just wanna talk about a few things. So when you have a patient in the hospital, that patient is on a primary physician's team. Not a primary care physician, but a primary team of any specialty. For instance, if you have a general medical condition like diabetes or COPD, that patient will be admitted to the medical floor where the internal medicine doctor is the primary doctor on that team for that patient. So if the patient is admitted to the internal medicine floor, there will be a primary doctor who is an internal medicine doctor for that patient. Now, a lot of times these patients have other issues going on. So say someone admitted with COPD to the internal medicine floor may also have diabetes and have renal failure or 
abnormal function of their kidneys. When that happens, you have to consult a nephrologist. That same patient may have heart failure. And if you don't feel comfortable managing that, you would call a cardiologist. So that's probably what happened in this case. There were multiple people or multiple consults managing on this primary team's patient. When you are a consultant or called for a consult on someone else's patient, or admitted to someone else's service, you give your recommendations, you don't put in orders on that patient. The reason being is because it's not actually your patient. They're calling you or consulting you for advice on how to manage that specific disease process because medicine is very complex and very subspecialized, you sometimes have to consult many different doctors for one person. So it sounds like what happened here is maybe the kidney doctor was the primary team and he consulted the cardiologist to manage the heart issues. The cardiologist put him on a certain medication that the kidney doctor thought wasn't appropriate. So what may have happened is that cardiologist who was consulted on that patient went ahead and put in medication orders on a patient that wasn't his and didn't tell the primary team or the nephrologist. That's kind of taboo to go ahead and start a patient on a medication without telling the primary team first. And it sounds like maybe he did tell the primary team and the nephrologist who was the primary team said, I don't want him on that medication. And then the cardiologist went ahead and just put him on that medication. If that's what happened, that is actually really inappropriate for the consultant physician to do. It's kind of like an unwritten rule. It's essentially up to the consultant to give their recommendations and it's up to the primary team to decide whether or not those recommendations are something they wanna pursue or not pursue. These kind of discrepancies happen all the time in the hospital. Say for instance, I'm the person being consulted, I go see the patient, give my recommendations. The team will decide if my recommendations to say do a procedure are in the best interest of the patient and I will just kind of stay back and help them if they need me. For the cardiologist to go behind the nephrologist back and order medication that he already canceled and already told him he doesn't want for his patient is a little inappropriate. But it's not inappropriate enough to get in a fight, an altercation in front of employees in public, and especially in front of patients. If you have a problem with it, you handle it like adults. You may meet with the consultant physician behind closed doors, talk about why you don't want this patient on this medication, maybe present certain research articles that support your argument, and you kind of make a decision based on all of those arguments. If you need to, you can always call in another physician and kind of give their input on the matter as well. But this should literally never happen. Anything like this should never happen. And I know like you all know that, but it's just crazy. Crazy how you can be so bothered by something as simple as a medication order that it would lead to fighting. Now, we don't know if, say for instance, the cardiologist recommended a medication that was harmful to the patient. Then, you know, I would get very angry and be like, why are you doing this? But I still wouldn't try to punch the guy. Like, I mean, you know, I'm in my 30s now. I'm not like a 19 year old at a bar. Like, we're professionals. I can't believe I have to say this. The only thing I can think of is that maybe this physician is extremely stressed out and this kind of like set him over the edge. That's all I can gather from this. There's no excuse for this to happen, but let's face it, medicine is extremely stressful in an extremely stressful environment to work in. You have to work together as a team in order to take care of these patients. If you don't, you're just gonna make it harder on yourself. Maybe this doctor had a terrible day. Maybe he was the only doctor for 40 patients at the hospital. Maybe he's overworked. Maybe he's underslept, if that's even a word. And maybe he just took it out on this cardiologist. Again, I'm not agreeing with this behavior. I'm just kind of putting myself in his shoes because there have been times where I've been so stressed out, I just wanna like leave. I don't ever resort to violence, of course, but you know, there are times where you just wanna cry under a desk because you're so stressed out. That's what medicine is sometimes and that's what we signed up for. So I don't really have an overall point to this video. I just wanted to present what I saw, kind of talk it over and try to put myself in their shoes because this is how things kind of function in the hospital and I wanted to kind of tell you all about it. If you don't work in the hospital, you don't know that all this stuff is going on. I guess the overarching theme of this video is if you're stressed out, don't resort to violence, talk it over like adults and come up with a mutual conclusion. And that's it. Basically like use common sense is the overall theme of this video. So as always, make sure you smash the like, subscribe, and follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you don't already. And I will see you on the next video.